views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Mmm, something smells good. I wonder what Lynn's cooking today. Hey, Lynn, I'm cooking. Now here's your host, Lynn Austin. Today, my friend Dana, again, has come in from Chicago to help us with some Southern hospitality. Definitely, definitely. I'm glad to be here. I am so glad you came in today. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually in our kitchen cooking, and yep. we love to do that, don't we? Yes. We yes, love to do that. And there's something that we, we always like to have when we start <laughs> cooking is a little bit of Southern comfort. Definitely. So I thought that I would make a Southern tea a tennessee tea tennessee with tea. our southern comfort yep. and you i'm going to tell him what to do for a change <laughs> so can you head up mosey on over there do you like that mosey on isn't that like a southern term yes. we need a little bit of vodka diet lemon lime soda southern comfort need a little bit of that southern comfort and some light cranberry juice and one more thing is our tea for our Tennessee tea. And we're going to mix it into this beverage dispenser that it's awesome to have. You, when, you're, when you're hosting a party and you don't have everything, don't rush out to buy it, right? Right. Because you can always pick up the phone, phone call somebody. and call somebody and they'll bring it to you. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. I called Dana and said, hey, Dana, do you have a beverage dispenser? He says, by golly, I do. <laughs> that was the exact words, too, by yeah, golly. by golly, I do. So we're going to add some tea in there. You talk like that, don't you? Yes. You say, by golly. So we're going to add the tea into this. And this is a nice one because it has an ice thing on the bottom that chills your beverage. All right, so you can use it outside or inside, whichever. Yeah. So there goes our tea. And there, and Dana, we're going to add some of the cranberry juice here in a second. And I use the light cranberry juice, kind of cut down on the sweetness. There we go. You don't go. want to lose the flavor of the Southern Comfort. Right, you we don't want to lose the flavor of the Southern Comfort. We don't want to get rid of that. Okay, and a little bit of cranberry juice. Pour that in there carefully. We're just kind of playing around with it. There, it adds a nice color to it, too. Just a little bit. About half a bottle of that. And let's bring in the uh, Southern Comfort first. <laughs> there we go. Should I Please. taste it to make sure it's real? Yeah, go ahead. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm smelling it. See, you I thought I was going to drink out of that bottle, didn't Oh, she you? has in the past. Trust me. <laughs> I have not. We'll just add, ooh, we're splattering a little bit of Southern Comfort. Okay, let me get closer. Okay, that's fun. Okay, that's in there. And some vodka. A little bit of vodka. Not as much vodka as you did Southern Comfort. Just a little bit. There we go. And some lemon lime Sprite. Or whatever. <laughs> Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to slowly pour that in there. Try not to splatter. Ooh, I'm excited. This is going to be yummy. Dana, can you give me a wooden spoon so we can kind of stir this up? I would say about a half a bottle of the Sprite. See, you all thought it was going to be really, really strong, but we were cutting it back a little bit with the Sprite here. But of course, if you were this close as we are, you would definitely <laughs> sm smell the, the Southern. There we go. Cap that up, and we're going to stir it up. Mmm, I can't wait to taste this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then we'll get cooking. <laughs> right, Dana? Yes, Lynn. <laughs> now, Dana. Yes, ma'am. You are studying to be what? Uh, I am in culinary school. Uh, I'm a sous chef and uh, Say that grill. Three times fast. And a grill master right now. Certified grill master and sous chef. Cool. So I call him Chef Boy. <laughs> Hey, Chef Boy! <laughs> that's about the nicest thing she's Yeah, that's about, oh, look at that. Look how nice. See? Oh, look at the color. 
I'm going to put green lime slices on there. we got to do a toast here before we start cooking, Dana. Our lovely pickles, fried pickles we're going to be making today. That'll be mine. <laughs> that has more in it. Fried pickles and stuffed sweet peppers. And then we have another drink we're going to make when yeah. we finish up to toast with. <laughs> Good southern so. drink. It's called an Alabama Slammer. Ooh. All right. Here we go, Dana. <laughs> Here's to cooking with friends in the kitchen and having fun. Definitely, definitely. Cheers. Definitely. I won't use the straw. Mm. Boom. That's good. <laughs> That's good stuff right That's there. Good. That's, <laughs> That's really, really good. Stuff. good. Okay, I'm going to keep my glass right by my hand. As here. usual. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. <laughs> what are we going to start with, Dana? Um, well, I, you know, we're going to do uh, deep fried uh, pickles. Um, it's, it's, you can use different variations of it. You can, um, you know, use whatever ingredients you want, but you want to bring a good base to it so that, uh, it really, you know, the dressing stays to it. So we're going to use two different kinds of pickles. You wanna, I can get them. Okay. Get we're going to, we're, we're going to use two different kinds of pickles, uh, a bread and butter chip and then a regular dill chip. The dill chips will quick, uh, go a little bit quicker because they're thinner. So the, yeah, these are a little bit thicker. the, uh, the batter that I use is, it's real simple. I mean, um, but we drain these pickles. yeah, we drain these, uh, last night because you want to get all the excess liquid off of it because you're going to be adding, uh, egg to it. So you take, you know, your pickle and I use flour, you, you dredge it in flour first, just get a nice little, uh, stuff on there and then you drop it in your eggs. So you want it to attach. And then the third thing, um, we are going to use this here, uh, and I'll have you do it mm -hmm. my hands just. Sprinkle, sprinkle a little bit of the cornmeal. This cornmeal, paprika. paprika and cornmeal. You want me to mix that together? Mix it together a little bit. A little bit more? That's fine. Okay. And that just gives it a little bit more, you know, extra kick. And, you know, we don't believe in spoons around here. So we no, just, you know, it's one, you know, two, three. It's, it's southern hospitality. So, yeah, yeah. That's what we're having right here. One, you two, You can't three. see, but we're actually barefoot behind it. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, here. So you're, you're, you're Ooh, just, okay. you know, you're getting a nice little dredge on it and you know, you're just going to drop it in your, you know, your oil basket. Okay, I have to say this. Fries going in. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Just, he couldn't wait to say that. I that's, know. that's actually, uh, um, would you like a, like a paper towel or something to wipe your hand? Or? Uh, not or yet. A spoon. You want to use a spoon? Uh, not yet. Cause you said something about using your fingers, but you're using your fingers as well. Well, uh, I'm, I'm good okay. at that. Good so at you just want to keep on, you know, going over your, your mixture you know, getting a nice. You sure you don't want more paprika in there? No, not at all, okay. because the sauces that we're gonna make in a little bit actually one's a spicier, one's a cooler one, and one's kind of a mild one. I would do the mild one. So, um, you just keep, like I said, it's just a base. You know, you just keep on going over and over, and then uh, we can do some well, you can bread mix and butter. Them up. You can mix them up. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter because you know the the bread and butter chips are a little bit thicker. So they need to cook a little bit longer, but if you got your oil nice and hot around 350, you know, so you'll make be fine. Sure that your oil should be you, your oil should be hot before you even do anything cuz otherwise yeah. what would happen if your oil would, it, would there, just sit there? Yeah, it'll, okay. it'll take forever cook and then they'll be just all soggy. They'll be like this. That's basically how they'll taste. And if you don't have a fry daddy like that, you could just use a pan. You could do the, uh, right on the on the stove, just get a deep uh, fry pan, uh, fill it about a uh, quarter way and uh, uh, with oil and let it get hot once again and uh, easy way to tell if it's hot enough just kind of dribble a couple uh, uh, sprinkles of water and if it starts to crackle you're good to go good. okay but we're going to throw these in there just to kind of get them started um, so we Would can you like me to place that in there or are you just wait and you wait no. and put a few in there okay you got to be okay those are safety. going in yeah we're so just they're going to go yeah we're going to just kind of get them move going on to the sauces, and move we'll on to the sauces as these, these are cooking and stuff we're gonna leave that to go. Okay. And again, oh, you can so make whatever kind of sauce that you want. It really, you know, basically it's it's your taste, you know. Okay. So let me uh, get done over here real quick. What's the first sauce we're gonna make? Well, then? the first sauce we're gonna do is actually we're gonna use a food processor. It's basically it's your spicier sauce. It's uh, used with uh, chipotle peppers, adobe sauce, and um, you know a little bit of uh, mayonnaise. Um, so what I want to do is we'll put, um, 
the adobes, these are, I mean, chipotle peppers. Okay, you, chipotle you, peppers are extremely... They're warm. Warm, okay. So if you, if you uh, but leave your seeds in there so you want that nice spiciness in there. But also, you want to uh, cut them down as fine as possible. And uh, you just go ahead and throw those in there. I can smell them. All right. Ooh. So you want to put two, two, three, however you like your, your, your um, spiciness on is... Um, how many you put in there then you throw out of the adobe sauce comes with the chipotles itself so you just take about you know one or two teaspoons of the sauce of the sauce the the sauce that was in the can and you know this is very common you know that you'd be able to get it's very simple and then you want a cup of mayonnaise okay oh that's not good I mean, it's, it, it brings a, you know, kind of a creamier taste to it. Um, so you're not adding any other spices in there no, because just, the peppers take yeah, care of the spice. Right, the, the peppers take okay. your spice, and as long as you leave the seeds in it, you know, you'll get that that. Uh, so we're going to start the food processor on. Oh, nice. Um, we're going to uh, blend this down to basically fine. So we're going to do that now for probably about 15 seconds. Color. Right, and, and again, it makes it bright, and you know, I mean, different holidays, Fourth of July, different, you know, it really does look good when you put it out on a table. Do then you want you, one of those little? Um, and then you just get it like a little, oh, you, you know, okay. uh, little dish, and you know, scoop it out of there. You scoop it out of there. You just want to make it, uh, you know. I can do that while okay. you move on to the next we, sauce. That, if you okay, want. Is it, you we do all that? we all done with the yeah, food we're processor? all done. We're the food processor. There you go. Um, the next See, one. We're being very nice to each other. Um, <laughs> they just hit me to tell me to move out of the way. And then it was. <laughs> it was a. It was a gentle touch. I'll yeah, put her, was, yeah. uh, her uh, drink up there. Um, the next one is going to be a uh, like a cool ranch dip. Um, you can make your own herbs if you want and stuff. And uh, but you know, just for time's sake and stuff, you know, you just get some you know ranch. Um, Powder mix and stuff. Time's sake. We love things that <laughs> kind of take yeah. down the time. Yeah, yeah. Cut the time. And he always makes fun of me when I say that, but it works. It, 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 it does. And let me just get in your way okay, here one second. You do, you do that. Uh, we're, what you do is uh, the ingredients of this one is three quarter cup of plain yogurt. So you just kind of throw that in there. Just regular yogurt. plain yogurt because it cuts down the bitterness. And then you got a third a cup of mayonnaise again. Mayonnaise, yogurt, that's Mayonnaise, easy. yogurt. And then you, uh, and, and the, the, the issue with this though, if you're going to do it, you want to uh, do it the night before because it takes about eight hours to chill, just the ranch one. So gotcha. you, you put the whole packet in, it's a one ounce pack. So that's a night before the night, do your the event, ranch. right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so you put that all in and you just, just really mix that up, you know, so you're getting. Do you want me to mix that where you check on those pickles so we don't burn those? Sure, that's fine. And then. then I'll um, take a drink while he goes over there. <laughs> um, so here's your first one. This is the uh, the Chipotle Adobe. Okay. That's How do you say that again? Chipotle, Chipotle Adobo sauce. Adobo. Right. So, you know, and again, the way that, you know, your pickles are, it, 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 you run them on brown and crispy. You want to make sure there's a good covering on them. As she's mixing that, the next one we're going to do is a honey dip one. What, honey? Yes, sweetie. <laughs> um, Where's the other little bowl for this? The... As Thank you, you put that in, <laughs> what sauce is this? That is the ranch. That's a cool right. ranch one. And what was the next one, honey? The next, the next one is a honey, sweet honey. Uh, oh, it's me. It's me. It's after everything me. opposite of Lynn, <laughs> and you just want to do it really quick. But as she's doing this, like I said, she's going to put that in the refrigerator. Oh, and when that is my cue to head to the refrigerator. Right, so I can move the over. There and then what go. it's going to do is going to come out and with. Time's sake, it turns out it's going to look like that. You just add some fresh uh, parsley on there, and then that, that would be your second sauce. Ooh, yummers. So, and these pickles smell so good right now. So oh, if you yummers. Could, I can put that away. Do all right. There we go. Thank the you. next one, like I said, it's a honey sauce. And basically, you take a, a half a cup of sour cream. Oops, I'm dropping your... 
And usually about uh, this time we cut Lynn off from all beverages <laughs> so she doesn't lose a finger or so. So there you so go. Funny. There's He's your so sour funny. cream. And then you put a, a quarter cup of mayonnaise in here. Sour cream mayonnaise. Sour cream right. and mayonnaise. I like a lot of mayonnaise. I just think it just makes it nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. And then you want to put in a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Any, Ooh. any like I like the deli style. It kind of it's it reminds you of brats, and I mean it's just kind of a nice summer spice. Mm. So I'm very proud of him because he didn't buy the name brand one. That was good. That was good. Good, good, good. good. Yeah, she's wonderful. Yes, I am. Then you add about as much as you want. It depends on how sweet. You want it, but I add, you normally calls for maybe two tablespoons of honey. I add about almost four, just because, oh, it, yeah, I mean, I like if, especially if you're, doing, uh, if you're doing a cooler and a spicier one, so you can kind of use, you know, both in there. So you want to get this in there, but you always want to make sure you're going back to your pickles. Yeah, you don't want your pickles to get overdone. No, that would be a no. bad pickle. That would be a bad pickle. Okay, and can then? Pass me the whisk. All right. Am I going to whisk that? No, I will take oh, care of this one. I thought I would. No. So basically, this <laughs> wow. one here, you really got to really get this one in here because the honey really has to, you really have to bind it. So you have you, to really incorporate the honey into yeah, the mixture. Yeah, right, because then you'll, you'll have too much sweet and sour and you just, it's not a good thing. So if we can get another okay, spoon. You have a lot of dishes to do after we're done here. Like spoon? like Just we would say in the, the South, thing? that's women folks <laughs> jobs. But women folk jobs, really. Now all the women are. Offended. But I wouldn't that's say right. that. Here, that's do, what, I, uh, do I need to get this? Yes, this you need station? to get the uh, the next one here. Okay. All right. So that, that. Oh, look at how nice and yeah, smooth that like is. Like I said, I mean, you want to really get it really, oh, really smooth because it it. Uh, mm. That's pretty. I like the color. And we should have some pickles here, and we're going to get these out now. Like I said, you can put as much as you want of the, the cornmeal and the flour, or you can keep it light so you can taste the pickle more, whatever your preference is. If you like the, the breading more, I mean, it's, it's everyone's, everyone's different taste here. So let me get this. Kind of a little broken up here. You had dill and you had the sweet in there. Right, right. right. Okay. So, I mean, again... Kind of want to make it pretty. Here's, here's, these are the dill, and there's a bread and butter chip. And again, now remember, you're taking it out of hot oil, so you want to put it on a paper towel and let it, you know, kind of get that oil off. It just cool down a little bit before you, you serve. Be, you before you serve, yeah. Oil. You want to make, yeah, because it will burn you. So, you know, even if you just that kind of would pat. Not be good, <laughs> Yeah. That would kind of stink. But, you know, Ouch. yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it then you've mm -hmm. kind of uh, Look defeated the purpose. Look at fried pickles. But fried there's your pickles. fried pickles. Do you and remember it, the first time? I'm, I'm going to stop you right here because okay. he's in instructional mode here. <laughs> I'm exactly, do you remember the first time that you introduced me to pickles? Yes. The fried pickles? <laughs> yes. I, it's been a while, but yes, I do, do remember, remember that. what show were we going to go see? We actually drove down to see Garth Brooks on his uh, flood relief concert in Nashville we drove down there yeah and afterwards uh, uh, I'm, I'm originally from the south and my family's from the south oh, he knew everywhere to go so we were in downtown Nashville so I took uh, Lynn and her family kind of on a tour and we picked out uh, a really nice place it's called the Wild Horse Saloon and uh, they have shows there they have it's just a great place you know and uh, I said, you got to try these fried pickles. And they kind of looked at me and like, I never had a fried pickle yeah, before. And, uh, but I tell you what, they're addicting. I mean, it's just, you, you start eating them. They're yummy. And if they're good and you got a good sauce, I mean, you can make a meal out of it if you mm -hmm. really had to. But it's, it's just good stuff. But yeah, so I got uh, Lynn and uh, hooked to them. Yep. And, uh, oh, yeah. So that's we why were, we decided when we were, we were digging to, those. We were up to do something from the south. We decided, you know what, what better to uh, do fried pickles. Fried and you pickles. know what? You can even add these on your hamburgers. You can oh, add yeah. them as in just an appetizer. Yeah. So they're great for the summer. And yeah, they're, I mean, and, they're, and they're simple. I mean, they're really simple. I, you don't... Is, I have to see if this is cooled off here yet. Oh, well, maybe not. It's a little hot. Maybe we'll let this cool off a second, and then I'll try it. But we're going to move on to okay. my mini stuffed sweet peppers. Sounds good. Which Sounds is good. another easy appetizer for the summer right and I found these peppers these are so good these are just little mini peppers and they sell them in a bag and there's not many seeds in there so when you cut them off 
You just clean them out, or one, two, three, just clean. I know you love when I say one, <laughs> two, three. I just say, I think I say that to just kind of bug them a little bit, you know. So here they are. You know what, Dana? I need you to chop up this. Sure. The ingredients into these sweet mini stuffed peppers is um, pancetta, which is an Italian bacon. Yes. And it smells really, really good. Um, we're going to, we have cooked this, and you just very thin when you get it. So you have to make sure that you just, you're standing by it when you're cooking it. So it's all done. It's like bacon. It's the American version of bacon. It's the Italian. It's, well, this is an Italian, right. but this is like you right. know, like bacon. Right. So you just, cook it yeah. like bacon, and then we're going to chop that up fine, fine, Dana, fine. And here are our peppers. We've cleaned them out, and there they are. You just you just pop off the ends, slice off the end, clean them out. There's only a few seeds in them. It's not messy at all. We're going to put this on a pan that has foil on it and we sprayed it with cooking cooking spray. And inside of the stuffing is the pancetta. You just throw that in the bowl. And after you're done cooking the pancetta, you're going to add in, let me get my handy dandy spatula here, the onion that you have sauteed in the oil from the pancetta. And it was a half an onion, and we don't want sweet onion. We just don't want a regular onion. Yeah, because uh, you, the peppers that you have are sweet, so if you add more sweet to sweet, it's just going to taste like a dessert. So we cook these till they're translucent, meaning Claire, he loves when I... <laughs> that's a big word. She surprises me sometimes. When, <laughs> but I think she reads the dictionary yeah, before, before I Before he out. comes to visit, I make sure I pick up a big word <laughs> so it impresses him. Okay, so we have the onion. You're just going to dump that pancetta in there. I love saying pancetta. Pancetta! <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay. Then we're going to add into that, we have ricotta cheese, <laughs> or ricotta, whichever way you want to say it. How do you say it, Dana? Ricotta. Ricotta. I say ricotta. 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 Not, but you're thinking of a ship. No, I'm not thinking of a ship. A regatta. Either. Regatta, 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 <laughs> regatta. It's an Italian cheese. It's like cottage cheese, but it's Italian. So we're going <laughs> to... Right? Yes. Yes, dear. Just say yes, dear. Yes, honey. That's all you have to say. We're going to do about three-fourths of a cup, and it's going to drive them crazy because I'm not going to measure it. Let's get that into that's about three-fourths of a cup. Right? Yep. Give or take three. No, that, that's about, I would measure that, and that's three-fourths of a cup right there. A real cook doesn't have to measure. <laughs> Good thing I'm a chef, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a chef. And a third of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. There we go. Fresh meaning coming from the bag. <laughs> I wanted to see if you were going to catch that. Okay, you caught it. And about a half a cup of frozen peas. <laughs> and we like peas in the South. You do? Yes. You like peas? Oh, yes. Really? Is that yeah. big in the South? It's, it's huge. And once again, I'm measuring. See, let me move this out of the way. There we go. And then we're going to add into that a little bit of salt, kosher salt. And a little bit of pepper. Very good. There we go. <laughs> now we're going to mix this together. And we're going to simply stuff them and bake them for about 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Look at that. Isn't that that's actually good? nice. That really is. I like the colors in there too. I mean, I think you can eat this at any time of the day too. Though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm mm mm. Good. Actually, when the uh, bacon hits the cheeses and it starts to melt, you can really get that smell coming off of it right now. And I wanted to tell you about the pancetta. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but you only need like four ounces of it, and that's it. So you're not going, you know, because I went to the deli counter and she said it was like 12 something a pound. I went, <laughs> oh, but you know what? Luckily, you only need about four ounces of it. So. That Actually, she asked for the best value. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with the best value. But they didn't have a <laughs> 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 Okay, Dana, let's get stuffing. All right. 
And you're probably wondering why I have this here, aren't you? Yes. Well, let me tell you, when you want to get to the end of the pepper, you're going to stuff it in there. So watch, look at this. And I got, look at this, I got a nice teaspoon because it fit perfectly in the little pepper, just like that. And watch, you take the end of the spoon. Look at wow. this, see? Wow. I am teaching the chef. Yes, she definitely is. Yeah, see, look at there. Look at how pretty. Isn't that nice? That's nice. That's nice. Like I said, they're going to cook in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until the pepper is tender. So you just kind of take a little fork and fork it. And while I am stuffing these, yeah, one more drink. I think we have one more drink that you want to share. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really a simple drink. Um, it's, uh, like I said, I'm from the South Tennessee and, and Alabama and, yes, he uh, is. <laughs> uh, this is called the uh, Alabama slammer. Okay. Well, all um, it basically is, is seven up. Hey, there you go. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't splatter on me. <laughs> I thought for sure. I'm like, Whoa. I'm sure that sounded good in the microphone. <laughs> Sorry, Otto. Aren't these look pretty? Those are very pretty. Almost as pretty as you, honey. I know that. Thank you, girlfriend. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> you know, Lynn is a great person, and and she uh, really does a lot for a lot of people, but she just lost her Christmas presents now, for this year. Speaking of Christmas presents, this is the one that always <laughs> gives me those unique Christmas presents all the time. So you had They're your so seven cool. up, and then you want to put... An ounce and a half of Southern Comfort in. Ooh. And I told you we like to drink Southern Comfort when we cook. We do. We, yeah. we really start usually when in you know early on early in the day. On <laughs> in the day. <laughs> when we have no place to be and yeah. it's cold outside or it's warm outside, we like our Southern Comfort. We like our Southern Comfort. And then you can just add any other garnish you want. So you can put a lime in there. And Ooh. what you really want to do with this, and uh, see if Lynn's ready. We kind of worked on this last night. Again, they call oh, it wait, a... Wait a second. We have to tell everybody about these glasses because oh, this okay. is very unique. Okay. This past Christmas, <laughs> I've shopped like in October for Christmas presents, and I was so excited. Dan and I were shopping, and we saw this hillbilly called wine glass. They're called hillbilly wine glasses, and we're like... Oh, that has Dana written all over it. <laughs> so we get it. We're all excited. Can't wait for December. And it come time to exchange Thanks our Christmas gifts. gifts. Yeah, yeah. And he's all excited about me opening up this one gift. <clears throat> and I opened mine first, didn't no, I? No, I, I opened mine. Oh, yeah, you opened yeah, yours? Yeah. <laughs> and then I opened mine, and, and he got me the same thing. We got thing. the same, each other the same things from two <laughs> different states. It was just kind of <laughs> unique. But what you want to do here. Watch that bottle. Uh, uh, what you want to do here is oh. put your hand over it. And oh, we got seven up. And but you I just have a... You just want to kind of shake it up My and get that fizz, yeah. and then you just Big. want to <laughs> and slam it. Mm. Really, really That's good. good. It's really kind of good. messy, though. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but again, <laughs> you know, it, again, <laughs> it's it's just a nice, good, you know, good southern drink. It's a cool drink. It's, it's just, yummy. I mean, it's, it's really good. good. I Here. mean, I mean, here's to. The Hillbilly summer, glasses. here's to hillbilly glasses, <laughs> and here's to next Christmas and wondering what we're going to give each other. <laughs> <laughs> Say Merry Christmas. <laughs> it wasn't Merry Christmas. Well, you know, Dana, once again, it's always fun having you in my kitchen. Like I say, it's fun to have family and friends in the kitchen. And thank you so much oh, for no coming problem. in today. And no our stuffed peppers turned out awesome, our Definitely. fried pickles, our Tennessee tea, and our Alabama slammer. Here's to fun in the kitchen with friends and family. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.